Howdy folks, it's your friendly neighborhood veterinarian, Dr. Paul here. I'm excited to be back with you today to talk about an important topic for all cattle owners' warts. First and foremost, I want to extend a heartfelt thank you for being a part of our wonderful community. Your support and subscriptions mean the world to me, and I'm truly grateful for the opportunity to share my knowledge and passion for animal care with you. Today, we're diving deep into the world of warts and cattle. Now I know warts might not sound like the most glamorous topic, but trust me, understanding this common ailment is crucial for maintaining the health and well-being of your herd. So grab your Stetsons, pour yourselves a glass of sweet tea, and let's get right to it. Before we delve into the nitty-gritty of warts, it's important to understand the culprit behind these pesky growths, bovine papillomavirus or BPV for short. BPV is a highly contagious virus that specifically targets cattle. Think of it as the common cold of the cattle world. It's widespread and easily transmissible between animals. This virus thrives in warm, moist environments, making areas around water troughs and feeding areas potential hotspots for transmission. It spreads through direct contact between infected and healthy animals, or indirectly through contaminated equipment, fences, or even the hands of handlers. Once BPV enters a cow system, it sets up shop in the skin cells, causing them to multiply rapidly and form those characteristic wart-like growths. Now you might be wondering, Dr. P how serious are warts, really? Well, the good news is that most warts are benign, meaning they're non-cancerous and pose no serious threat to your cattle's overall health. However, don't let that fool you into thinking warts are a mere cosmetic issue. Depending on their location and size, warts can cause discomfort, interfere with grazing and feeding, and even affect a cow's ability to reproduce. For instance, warts around the mouth can make it painful for calves to nurse, leading to poor growth and development. Similarly, warts on the teats can hinder milking and potentially lead to mastitis, a painful infection of the udder. In rare cases, certain strains of BPV have been linked to the development of cancerous tumors in cattle. While this is not a common occurrence, it highlights the importance of monitoring warts and seeking veterinary attention if you notice any unusual changes. Section 4. Spotting the Signs. Recognizing Warts in Your Herd. Early detection is key when it comes to managing warts in cattle. The sooner you identify an outbreak, the quicker you can implement measures to prevent its spread and minimize any potential impact on your herd. Warts can appear anywhere on a cow's body, but are most commonly found on the head, neck, shoulders, and udder. They can vary in size and appearance, ranging from small, smooth bumps to large, cauliflower-like growths. Keep a keen eye out for any new growths or skin abnormalities on your cattle, especially in young or newly introduced animals. If you spot anything suspicious, don't hesitate to contact your veterinarian for a proper diagnosis. Section 5. Combating Warts Treatment and Management Strategies While most warts will eventually regress and disappear on their own, this process can take several months to a year or more. In the meantime, there are several treatment options available to manage warts and alleviate any discomfort they may be causing your cattle. One common approach is surgical removal which involves surgically excising the warts under local anesthesia. This method is typically reserved for large problematic warts that are causing pain or interfering with normal bodily functions. Another option is cryotherapy which involves freezing the warts off using liquid nitrogen. This procedure is relatively quick and painless, but it may require multiple treatments to be effective. In some cases, your veterinarian may recommend topical medications or immunotherapy to stimulate the cow's immune system to fight off the virus. Remember, it's crucial to consult with your veterinarian to determine the most appropriate treatment plan for your cattle, as factors such as the age and health of the animal, the location and severity of the warts, and the risk of spreading the virus will all be taken into consideration. Section 6. Prevention is key protecting your herd from warts. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. This is true for bovine papillomavirus. Preventive measures reduce BPV outbreaks and protect your cattle. Maintain good hygiene and sanitation in barns and pastures. Clean and disinfect water troughs, feeding areas and equipment. Vaccination is a valuable tool. Consult your vet about vaccination. Quarantine new animals for two weeks. A healthy herd is a happy herd. That's all for today, folks. If you found this helpful, give a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. Leave questions or comments below. Stay tuned for more from Dr. Paul.